So this is a bit of a tangent, um, and it's not going to be really uh, real. So I'm going to kind of fake some things along the way, just because this is just you know I'm I'm just having an idea around um, how could you sort of specify something like or program something like Grover's quantum uh, Grover's algorithm at the interference level thinking about interference not about anything else like gates and whatnot so we're just gonna let's pretend that we let's pretend that that, that exists in circ okay <laughs> um interference programming so as an, just as a as an idea okay just as an idea so i will just create a project mm, and see what happens so i'm gonna get rid of all of these right now because we don't care is this something that uh, has been sort of thought before? Um, I don't know, interference programming. Programming, because, so how, how would this look like, right? So, so, so the, is it with one M or, yeah. So uh, let's think, let's think, okay. So what can you do if you think about a wave, right? Let's let's see. Let's imagine we've got our wave in here, right? And that's our zero, the wave for uh, that, that sort of specifies that state. And so, what you kind of do with the Hadamard is you really sort of split that up, right? So you split that up into um, kind of two smaller waves. Uh, wait a second, it's going to be easier if I don't paint them like that, but I paint them like maybe I'll just open the we will just open the documentation tabs. So it's going to be uh, cleaner to paint in here. So just let's imagine that this is our zero state, and then we've got our wave, right? So what would you? What kind of naturally comes to my head is like we can we can kind of split that. We, we can kind of split that, right? So we have um, that's what kind of when you apply a Hadamard, you turn that into a zero. Uh, plus one state, which means they are in phase, right? So I would imagine that after Hadamard, you have a state that is kind of, so the two things here are aligned. I'm gonna try to paint this with different colors though. No, uh, same color, more or less. Imagine they are aligned, okay? Imagine that the peaks are aligned and the, the valleys are aligned. So they're in phase, okay? And so, and, and really what happens when you apply another, another Hadamard here is that um, the Hadamard turns the one into like zero minus one, right? So in so in reality, what kind of happens here, let's see if this is something that makes sense or not, is that if you now apply another Hadamard, right? You're really gonna turn that first zero into like a zero plus one again. So that's kind of gonna be the same thing. So you're splitting these things up, but they're in phase, okay? This is really accurate. <laughs> And, and this guy here is going to turn into 0 minus 1. And so what this kind of really means in here is that that the, the 0 is kind of aligned, right? But the wave that represents the 1 is kind of misaligned. So it's basically 180 degrees. So there where there's a peak, there's a valley. So it goes like these, like these, like these, like these like these, like these, kind of, right? So where there's a peak, there's a valley, okay? So, and so really the system is the, the system is really the sum of all those things, right? So, I mean, you can obviously see that, that those, those waves really interfere. Um, I don't know if that makes a lot of sense. They, they, they destroy each other, right? I don't really know really what the one and zeros here are and why you just add up those and you don't do all this stuff and how those waves are anyhow different. But I like to think of the, if this is the model that we're managing that we're working with, that kind of becomes obvious that, that then, uh, you know, you kind of have those two cancel out. So if you add up all these, it really goes back 
um, it really kind of goes back to you know to that point in here right because those two things add up right because you've got peak and peak valley and valley so those things kind of add up um, so I, I could imagine you've got something like a split function so let's imagine let's assume let's imagine that that there exists something like this in Zurich okay and so how would you how would you do that so and let's imagine that it's called uh, you know circ circ interference or so import circ interference as as what as circuit Interference, IF, no, <laughs> that's the wrong keyword. Sorry, that's the wrong keyword choice. <laughs> um, I don't know, let's call it, uh, it doesn't matter, let's just do it. Circ interference, it's not, wait, let's just use the full name. So, like, I, I would imagine something like, you know, first thing we need to do is prepare, uh, prepare initial state, right? So you kind of have something like, um, let's imagine we have a variable that, Kind of encapsulates the initial state or a symbol that encapsulates the initial state let's put it this way um so we've got something like a symbol right uh let's call it symbol uh, uh this is fake i'm not really that doesn't really exist that's not python or anything i'm just symbol initial state and you know and it, somehow this is initialized like i don't really care if this is like in this notation or it doesn't matter so, and so you basically, what you basically, I don't know, I don't know what you would do. So you would kind of, uh, you would kind of have a state, right? And so you would say, circ interference, uh, what, like prep state? Or prepare and you give it the initial state. I'm bad at designing languages, so don't just forgive me. This is just crap. I'm just thinking, right? So how would you? I want to see how. I want to see where, whether I can take that somewhere. So you prepare the initial state. So now what you would do is you would split. You want to split the state. So you'd say so. One of the first split state. That's kind of like it. It, it literally means, in this case, getting getting to superposition, right? position so um, so it could be something like split one right so we'll call it split one it's basically state just split right so you're gonna split the state maybe maybe a full split right because you you, you kind of maybe can have partial splits have a full split partial split would be you, you just split like sort of half of your qubits um, Full split. So this is this would be a function from a state, right? Uh, state full split. Yeah, I guess so. So, so what if you would do a full split again? Mm. That does, does the name make sense? Full split. It's kind of awkward because if you if you do uh, if you do then uh, another full split, that will literally be uh, so that will literally go back to your state. So you're you're kind of splitting this this full splitting kind of creates interference. I don't like the word split because it doesn't necessarily imply that it can interfere and go back. So uh, so I maybe like that maybe we could change the name and call it like interfere, interference. Full interference. Not full interference, interference. 
Hmm, something like interference, right? And and so you would need to uh, specify interference. What are synonyms synonyms of interference? Something like intrusion intrusion. <laughs> intrusion. Uh intrusion synonyms of interference interfere. It's interfere a good verb. To enter into or take part into the concerns of others, interfere. Because I would rather call it like interfere because it's a verb, right? It's, it's an action. So well, let's let's interfere the state, and you can interfere it with something. No, I like that. I like that. Or better. Okay, better. Hmm. Mm. What if that would be an actual function from the circ package? And so you would kind of say circ dot interfere. And if you would give it a just one state, would it, the only thing that it does is gets into superposition, right? It superposes the. Maybe it should be called superpose. Because it can, you can, you can, you basically superpose the stuff, right? So you're superposing, uh, and that can create interference. Yeah, I like that. Superpose. Mm -hmm. Interference. So you prepare, you prepare the state. You you create superpose on the state, um, and that gives you the that gives you the split. That gives you the first split, or so that, that gives you like that gives you the state again, right? So let's let's just override the state and okay. superpose the state. And like you don't care how you superpose, obviously you just don't care, right? Um, you could specify here something as a parameter, and that would basically change the way you superpose. For example, so that would be superpose the state. So you get into superposed, and then, and then what you want to do is you want to do a series of superpositions, um, so that they uh, that kind of give you the the, the yeah. So now you now it's where you designed interference patterns. Okay, so the superposition maybe can have an interference pattern. Oh, that's a nice idea. So so you would say, for example, the next step is. State superpose, and here it will be like a so that would be sort of a uh, like define the fence pattern. So, an interference pattern that basically takes you into a place where. Because uh, remember, remember, that, remember that that like take, you can take a look at my previous Grover videos where I talk about this idea, right? Where um, so you go from zero zero, you kind of um, expand these into zero zero zero. You got you superpose these, right? And then um, in before you do the before you superpose before you superpose again uh like you're flagging the element here right so th then you know if you would superpose again you would get kind of like zero 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 one one zero one one right and then uh i think this was like so that would be this is this is the super this is a superpose here right so you're superposing the whole system um so that would be maybe a full superpose You'd superpose a full system, right? Or maybe you would specify that as part of qubits, as part of the qubits, right? So you would say, uh, superpose. 
it's a full superpose. Maybe it could be a parameter, maybe just a separate function, okay? It's a, it's a full superpose. It's also a full superpose. And so, so these takes you into like zero, zero, zero. So this takes you to zero, zero, uh, minus zero, one. 1, 0, minus 1, 1. If I remember well, I think that's the, the way you do it, right? So, But now, because you minus this one, right? So this would usually it would usually superpose into 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, minus 1, 0, minus 1, 1. But because you minus that, so th this is kind of, in this, for me, this is the interference pattern, right? So you're kind of creating, so you're, you're defining interference pattern that basically what it's going to do is, um, it's gonna bias you towards one towards one element, right? So how can you how can we call this pattern? So this pattern would be because because this would basically what this would do, right? What this would do is is it would like negate all these, okay? Yeah, and so when you when you do again like this would be zero zero. Uh, minus zero one, minus one zero, and one one exactly, and so now you can see that um, zero one minus zero one minus zero one minus zero one. So it has a negative. It's, it sort of has a negative weight, a weight to it. Um, Yeah, negative way to it. So one zero, one zero. Something's off in here. Plus one zero plus. Uh, so that has a positive. Yeah, yeah, no, that's correct. That has a positive. That has a positive tone to it. Yeah. Positive overall result and one one minus one one plus minus that's a positive one. So at the end of the day, you kind of end up right with. Um, so you you sort of if you interfere that you end up with um, zero zero minus zero one and then one zero one one, which is kind of almost almost what you want because if you then basically flag this element, you kind of have minus one zero, right? So you literally can find like so that's and again that's been a, this is a big it's again like a big I think I've gone through this many times and I every time have to go carefully through this because it's not it's not that straightforward so but I'm interested in how would you how would you def, how would we define these as an interference pattern right so what do we say that you're kind of um, creating a bias towards something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're superposing with a. So it's like you're you're phasing, right? So you're doing a you're superposing, but you're adding a phasing to it because th that like that interference that like phasing by itself won't create interference. If you just purely change the phase, right? Uh, so. Maybe maybe that's the way that this should work. So uh, so it's not a flagging. So it's a phase. It's it's sort of uh, you're superposing. You're superposing with a with a sort of a phasing element, right? Or phase pattern. Phase map. Phase map. <laughs> Maybe it's an inter. Maybe you can call it just interference map. What the interference map is going to do is is going to say, um, so this is a uh, this is a new class, right? Where you kind of basically uh, so you give it like. 
So what do you give it? You give it a list of this is this is <laughs> so bad. Um, you give it a list of the uh, the elements. Hmm. So you give it a list of the elements you want to end up sort of interfering towards. Is that correct? Or does this make sense at all? Uh, so that interference is not a map, really. Why would it be a map? So if this if I call it map, then it should be it should be some kind of map. Okay, yeah, because I can basically say, for example, something like these, right? It's like phase it phase this by 180 degrees. So that's my interference map is what are the things I want to phase? Uh, what are the things that I want to phase? Uh, and by how much I want to phase them. That's the interference map. And so if your interference thing thinks like these, if you could it, it's such an interference map like these, uh, this is going to Yeah, so you then do a full superpose on these. Yeah. Full superpose on these. And and then in theory, what you need to do is if I just clean this thing, you just need to correct that, right? So uh so you would kind of say uh you would create another interference map so define a correction pattern so you would say fence map two fence map or we'll call it like emap correction and so what this does is it takes the initial state. Okay. And it adds the same, same pattern in here. 180 degrees. Mm. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. Then you would finally do a Say a full superpose on on the on this using this interference map correction. Mm -hmm. it. So that would be like one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code. Um, mm -mm -mm. Does this make sense at all, or is it just like crap? Sounds a bit like crap to me, but maybe it's another way of saying things. Like, is it is it is it easy to understand Grover like this? It's not probably. I mean, what I like is the fact that the correction depends on your initial state because that's key, and that you don't care about how you're doing the superposition. You're just saying just full superpose, um, but you can give to the full superpose an interference map, and this interference map is basically telling you. Um, how do you want things to interfere? So maybe you shouldn't. Shouldn't specify these. Or this could be, because then the meat of the algorithm is here, right? So if you want to have a more complex, like, that's how you would then translate your problem into an interference map. For example, the graph search thing or the co color graph coloring, you would need to basically create an interference map and then just dump it in here and it works, right? Um, so you so you need so you need a cool way to specify so you need like an interference map, okay. So it would basically tell you how, how you want things to interfere. Uh, but it doesn't... 
doesn't make it easier. It doesn't make it easier to explain. It doesn't make it easier to explain because because it's not obvious, and it should be obvious that the full superpose, that if you fully superpose with this interference map, then you will only need to apply this correction. Maybe, maybe, okay, maybe the only thing you need to do is, um, maybe it should be different. Maybe it should not be a fully superposed, but it should be, or maybe there should be something else where you can just correct the state. Could you correct the state? Because the question is like, how, how would you then know how many iterations of these you need to do? Right? So, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Because the, the interference pattern correction pattern, so that would just tell you, just tell you apply the correction fully, then fully superpose, but then you're still not, not sure about the measurements in here. And what I'd like to what I'd like to have is I'd like to have something that then knows how much it needs to do that. But does it make sense that it knows how much you need to do that? It doesn't at all because it's just a matter of taste. You could you could do less iterations just because you don't wanna just because you don't wanna have such a deep circuit at the end of the day. And you sacrifice accuracy for these, right? So you want to stay at that level. You don't want to go more. You don't want to go high, high level. So you've got interference patterns and you've got like a state correction, really. Um, is it a state correction? Hmm. Again, it's another interference pattern, right? It's a... But why, how would you explain the code? How would you explain the code? So you would say, prepare, first things we prepare an initial state. Then we fully superpose the state. Um, we prepare an interference map that basically encodes our problem. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Then we fully superpose. And, and at that point, some things kind of some things kind of cancel out. Mm. In a way that we're giving more weight, so we're giving more weight to our solutions. They, that's what the interference map is doing. Is kind of we're we're. Mm. Fully superpose. Well, it, it, it is to some extent easy to explain because you're saying what you're saying is we prepare you prepare the initial state, right? Prepare the initial state, and then you, you apply an interference map. That basically, what the interference map is designed to do is is designed to kind of unbalance the equilibrium, right? So it it, it adds this inter it's going to interfere negatively towards the solutions of the problem. Mm. Now. The initial state the initial state that the, 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 the whole the whole problem with this initial state story is that mm, is that the initial state The initial state is unusually 
it's sort of like overbalanced positively. It's overbalanced positively because it's the initial state, because it's the seed. So we're fully superposing a state. But that super that 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 superposition still encodes the it sort of still encodes the initial state. That's the point. And so that's something you should know. So you need to correct for that. You need to say and now the next thing I want to do is I want to have an interference map that balances. All that stuff as well, following the same pattern, but for initial state, right? Hmm. Is it true though? Yeah, it's gonna be, exactly, it's gonna be positively balanced. Like it's gonna be over, yeah, it's sort of a property of 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 the of of these, right? Like full full superpose. So that state sort of remembers the seed, right? That's why. Thinking about what if this if what if the seed is the is the state. So what if we would if that would be a method of of the circ interference package and the parameter would be so so this would be an empty interference map you would say seed equals initial state and so that could be another idea right so you would you would basically you basically say just Uh, just superpose, superpose superpose and that's the seed. And if no pattern is given, it's assumed to be a fully super a full superpose. So you do so you superpose and you give it an, you give it the seed. So then this is not needed anymore. And that gives you a state. And then what you do is you kind of do the same. So you would say superpose and you would give the seed, so the interference map and the seed as a state, the state as a seed. Yeah. The state of C. That would be interesting because that would allow you to experiment with this. So you, you you give it as a function, you give it a seed state, you give it an interference map, and so what it does is is uh, it takes a state, it applies the interference map and superposes. And that creates the, the interference. So that will literally be Yeah. Okay. And so you would do kind of the same here, you would say state as the seed state. Um let's assume the first can be parameter can be none, right? Or 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 simply an empty interference map. Mm. Oh, sorry, not, not this. So you you would do it here. Hmm. So the initial state is the C. So does this make sense? I don't know. Is it easy to explain? Now it's like four four lines of code. So, so it will literally be um, 
you've got the initial state, you, you prepare the initial state, then you prepare an interference map that, uh, that, that is designed to balance towards these, uh, balance you towards these. Um, and so uh, 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 then you superpose, then you superpose with this interference map. And then what you do is, the next step is you define a correction pattern. So what you do is you do an interference map uh, where you're, you, the interference map is actually an, an initial state uh, correction or correction or balancing, right? So you're, uh, you're what you're doing is because because you're going to balance with these, so you're also going to apply to the initial state because mm, 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 mm. that's going to be that's always going to have a positive. That's always going to have a positive. Positive, like, and it's going to be more. It's going to have more importance in your superposition by nature. Is it? It is. I think so. Because if you, if your seat is one one one. If your seat is um, one one, right, and you go into superposition, so what this does is is zero 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 zero, right? Minus zero one minus one. Oh, that's awful here. Sorry guys. So you've got a one one that turns into zero zero minus zero one minus one zero and plus one one. Right? And now if you if you expand on those, so you're gonna have zero 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 one one zero one one, you're gonna have uh zero 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 one one zero minus minus yeah yeah minus one one correct is that correct I think that's not correct uh plus yeah so you can see already here that, yeah, so the one, the one, one is always going to have a, uh, and if I go on, like the one, one is going to always ha be overcompensated. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, I'm not so sure if this going to, if this leads, if this kind of leads to anywhere. Uh, but I kind of, I, I don't know. It's just a, a just a direction of thought. Okay, so it's a could we could we somehow come up with a language that allows us to program these ways? So to kind of program with interference these ways. So you kind of create an interference map, you superpose things, um, and that that would be Grover's algorithm. Really, what I like about these is that it um, shows that there's a dependence on the initial state. There's definitely dependence on the initial state. Like amplitude amplification as these is designed for the initial state with all zeros. So everyone's kind of cheating when they're saying, oh, that's amplitude amplification. Well, yeah, it's only going to work if you if your initial state is zero, zero, zero. <laughs> so good luck with that. Um, yeah, but again, that's all fake. That's not working. This is just, you know, <laughs> just an idea, OK? Just an idea. Um, I'll keep developing that, I guess, uh, in, in other videos. I'd like to see, could we, with this idea, could we, for example, how would the how would okay so that's going to be in my next video so can we code with these can we code the um qft the quantum Fourier transform let's do this let's see if that's something that can work uh yeah that's interesting just because i don't know yeah whatever 